Hello, I'm Nobby Clark. Welcome back to my workshop. Further to my recent video, I'd like to explain a little bit more about fitting a gas strut uh, to a mini mill. Now, the gas strut is this device here. Um, it replaces the part that's usually supplied on this machine, which is a, a torsion bar. Um, the torsion bar is attached through here and mounted to a point on the head of the mill. Um, obviously I removed this with a bit of caution thinking that the spring inside here is going to be very very strong but in fact that the spring is, is quite weak. I was very surprised. Um, and that probably accounts for why the uh, mechanism of raising the head of the mill up and down um, isn't very smooth at all and quite often um, when you're adjusting the head of the mill down um, you can get um, sort of slight jumps to the uh, the mill head which if you're drilling um, uh, is very disconcerting. Um, the critical thing is um, buying a gas strut uh, that has the the, the right sort of power basically to support the the weight of the head of the mill I mean I calculated that the head part of the mill is probably about one third of the total weight of the milling machine um, so I estimated that I needed a gas strut uh, in this case of about 300 newtons um, you order these uh, generally from an automotive supplier and They'll ask you for various bits of information. They'll ask you uh, the strength uh, required for the gas strut, um, the overall length uh, of the strut as well. I think in this case it was around about 19 inches long. And the fittings that you want on the top and bottom, um, you can either have these swivel joints or eyelets. Um, in my case, um, when the item actually arrived, they'd supplied me with both items. Um, I thought I would probably use the eyelets, but um, once it arrived uh, with the swivel joints, I, I quickly decided that probably was the, the best way of fitting it. Now it's, it's connected in two positions, uh, one to the base of the mill's column here, and another one has to be connected to the head of the mill. Um, to do this I mounted um, a piece of half inch square steel bar which is, I actually used two existing holes, one which was part of the torsion bar system and another hole here which held the pointer uh, which was the indicator on the a ruler, which you can probably not see that ruler here those two point screw holes became sort of quite redundant. Um, ordering this from an automotive supplier, um, which was just quite inexpensive really, the, the item delivered I think was about £13, which I, I thought was, was quite a reasonable cost. Um, I was able to drill the, the various holes required in this uh, steel bar before it's actually attached, making sure that I got the position of the two fixing holes in the correct position. Uh, and the top one uh, had to be drilled and threaded to take the ball joint at the top of the gas strut. Now the bottom one I had to drill a hole in the, the upright of the mill here. This is cast iron. Um, I will warn you I discovered that the, the cast iron on these is incredibly hard and I was unable to drill through it easily with um, a cordless drill so I had to revert to using a mains power drill and uh, it, it cut through quite easily so I was obviously very very cautious of, of tapping the thread in here um, rather worried that um, you're going to snap a tap off in, in the metal work uh, it wouldn't have been absolutely fatal it could just change the position of the hole if that happened but normally when I've worked with cast iron before cast iron is, is not a particularly hard material and it's very very easy to machine and tap but just be cautious that um, the machine is actually made of very very hard material um, now 
some warnings here when you um, are preparing to remove the torsion bar um, on here you have a, a, a bottom stop position which can be raised up and down bring this right below the head of the mill don't rely on the the lock which locks onto the gibs on the opposite side of the head just in case anything happened and the head of the mill came crashing down while it's not being held uh, with the spring mechanism um, the other thing I did uh, was to remove the bump stop at the top here so that I could raise the head of the mill right to the very top uh, to allow the maximum amount of possible movement um, so then I readjusted this stop to be right up underneath the head of the mill. Um, once I'd fitted uh, the gas strut to it, um, I then dropped the head down again and refitted the bump stop at the top. Um, there's a, an, this is not my own invention, other people on um, YouTube have fitted uh, gas struts like this. There are uh, gas strut kits available in America from um, the little machine shop, they are fitted in, in a totally different way because I believe most of their machines are different models so some of them the gas strut actually goes down inside the column but this is not a hollow column on this, this machine. Um, some of the inspiration for fitting this came from Andrew Wales' channel, uh, an excellent channel, he's a very very competent uh, amateur machinist um, makes the most remarkable um, model engines um, and I saw that he'd fitted one of these which inspired me to do the same. Um, once fitted it works extremely well um, and it's a, although the, the movement in the downwards direction is um, a, a bit tougher uh, than with the, um, uh, the torsion bar system well, that doesn't really matter it, it, it arrests any possible of slippage of the head itself raising it up uh, this takes up the, the weight of the head and it raises very very easily so a worthwhile uh, addition to to any minimum because it takes up a, a lot less room at the side of the machine as well when I've kept the original torsion bar if this machine was ever sold and a new owner preferred to, to fit the original then all the parts are, are going to be there um, the other item I'd like to show you in a little bit more detail is the, um, the cross-feed device um, that I fitted to uh, the, the mini mill. I'm just going to readjust the position of the camera so you can see this more easily. 